the spacecraft is actually half built here in Cannes, and then the other half is built in Toulouse. And they shipped the part from Toulouse over to the Cannes site, and they actually made it, they put it together. And after that, they go through a very extensive testing regimen where we test the spacecraft in what we call a thermal vacuum chamber. This is this huge room where they pump out all of the air and then they, uh, they cycle the spacecraft through extreme temperatures, extreme hot, extreme cold, repeatedly to make sure that everything still works. Um, it's to simulate the, the harsh environment of space as well. Um, then we also want to simulate the, the launch environment. So when the spacecraft is in the rocket, the rocket is very loud and shaking very rapidly. So we put the spacecraft on a vibration uh, pad and we vibrate the spacecraft as well to simulate the launch environment. We blast the spacecraft with sound waves. And after we've stressed the spacecraft out through all of these different means, then we have to test it to make sure that nothing's broken at the end as well. It's absolutely critical to do all of this stuff because after we launch it, we will never be able to touch the spacecraft again. It's, uh, it's too far away. You can't send astronauts, you can't send a repairman out there to fix it. So either we shake out all the problems here on the ground, or um, they might cause us a lot of problems in, in space. They will launch the, the spacecraft on the Ariane 5 rocket, and it will go around 35,000 kilometers um, from the Earth to what we call a geostationary orbit. And there, it will basically park there for the remainder of its lifetime. It's been a long journey. There's been a lot of um, things that we've had to overcome. And it's a huge uh, feeling of accomplishment um, to know that something that literally came from just an idea now is turned into an actual spacecraft that's going into space, that's actually going to be used um, to basically improve everyone's lives. I am the MRSAT representative. I would be responsible for supervising and witnessing the entire transportation uh, sequence. I don't actually pick up the spacecraft and put it on the truck. I'll leave it to Talus. The spacecraft is the size of a large bus and is going into a container that's even bigger, and then that all has to fit on top of a truck. There will be a police escort, there'll be a very large convoy that, that um, will take us to the airport. Stuck. There's cars that are parked right in the middle middle lane. It would effectively block the progress of, of the spacecraft container. Okay, so we will turn it. We made it. Now the satellite still has to make it to the aircraft. So. I think the hard part is not making it through Cannes, but we still have to get it aboard the aircraft and then get it on its way to, uh, to South America. It takes an entire army of people, TALIS, we have MRSAT, we have uh, Ariane Space, Helisat. All of these people have to come together in order to make this happen. And to be part of this chain, part of this team, to, to put it up, it's very, very humbling. product is, is to connect human beings essentially, to connect people, to be able to talk with anyone across the world at all times. That is uh, very, very amazing.
it's a fantastic time to be in the industry. There is so much happening in the industry itself and around us. So the Ariane 5, it's very big and it's very heavy. It's about 700 tons. You might not see much going on. A lot of it's behind the scenes. It's the engineering teams that are working on the launch vehicle itself and also on the different satellites. The most important thing in that period is a feeling of tension because that's when the launch is getting close. You're getting down to the wire, as they say. Peace, nine, eight. Sept, six, cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un. When that sonic blast hits you, you feel it rather than hear it. Then you start to hear the crackling of the engines. But the first thing you feel is that feeling in your chest. It really is quite moving because of the power of the event and also because of personal investment that's gone into a program over many, many years. It's a very involved and tense period.